All right, we're just going to tie a really simple woolly bugger. Uh, we've had some requests to, to just show, you know, some, some basic flies. So what I have in the, the vise is just an Allen S402 hook. This is a number 6. Uh, typically, I'll tie my buggers in size 6 or size 10 uh, for still waters. Um, I don't think the size 8 adds enough variance in size. But anyway, we're just going to attach our thread. Um, some people like using thicker thread. I'm just using UTC 70 denier thread. And I'm going to take my thread all the way to the back of the hook. At this point, I've got a piece of marabou. It doesn't have to be awesome marabou. Just any black marabou or any color works. A lot of people will take their marabou and preen it so that all the tips are showing like this. Now that makes a really clean looking fly, but it it doesn't give you as much motion as marabou can give you. What I prefer to do is pull the marabou off of the side of the stem of the the marabou feather and tie it in like that. So I'm, I'm getting those more webby fibers in the fly. Um, before I tie it in, I'm just going to trim all this stuff off. And so I'm going to tie it in actually up at the front of the fly to, to make sure it's consistent. And then wrap my thread back to where, the, where I was. Now, I don't like buggers with really long tails. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go approximately the length of the body of the fly and trim the tail. Now you don't want to come in with scissors when you do that because it will just make a really flat, unnatural edge. So if you just take your fingernail and pinch it, um, you'll be able to pull off the, the additional fiber. So I'm going to go about this length and I just pull it off. And so you still have kind of the more buggy edge. Um, so I some woolly bugger patterns, you'll, you'll tie in the hackle at this point, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse palmer the, the hackle. So instead of tying the hackle and I'm just going to tie in a, a piece of uh, wire. This is UTC brassy size wire. Really it doesn't matter what color you use. Um, this color happens to be uh, copper brown and I'm just gonna let that hang off the back of the hook. Um, next is tying in chenille. I just have some chenille that's black with a little bit of red and purple flash in it. And instead of just tying it in like this, I'm actually going to peel off some of the, the fibers off of the chenille. So it's a really nice, clean tie-in point. So you see where I tied that in. There's no bulk at the back of the hook. And I'm just going to wrap forward now. Now for time's sake, I'm just going to use the rotary feature to wrap my chenille forward. Right about to there, I'll just tie it off. All right. At this point, we'll tie in the hackle. Now you can use saddle hackle. You can use any type of hackle you want. This is actually one of the schloppen style feathers from the back of a hackle, and this this type of feather will give you a lot more movement than a normal saddle hackle. But you know, any hackle will work. So I'm essentially going to, to take it and you know peel off some fibers and uh, tie it in just right here at the eye of the hook. Get rid of that stem. Now this part it, it it's a it's a part of the time of the fly where the hackle can come undone. So I'm going to hurry and throw a whip finish in there with my fingers real fast so that as I wrap this it won't unravel. Alright, I'm just going to take my my hackle and I'm going to start wrapping it back the hook. You see this is a pretty buggy woolly bugger. With saddle hackle your hackle fibers will be a lot less um, buggy and maybe a little bit shorter. So as I'm back, as I'm at the back of the the hook, I'm just going to hang on to this part of the uh, the feather for now, and I'm going to take this wire, and I'm going to kind of wiggle as I as I 
wrap this forward now and I'm going to do two wraps just right in the right in the same spot to tie that feather down and then I'm going to come up through the hackle and what that does is because I'm wrapping it forward now it's actually crossing the the hackle stem every time I wrap uh, uh, over the the hackle so that way if a fish tooth gets in there and actually breaks the hackle stem you won't even be able to tell because the wire has it tied down every single wrap. So I'm just going to wrap that forward to the eye. Tie that off. And trim off my feather. I'm going to preen everything back and build up a little bit of a head. This is a really good time to, to create a, a hot spot on the woolly bugger. A lot of times I'll, I'll use uh, like fluorescent orange thread on this to make an egg sucking leak without having to use a bead to make it sink. Um, so anyway, you can get creative on your color of thread. I'm just going to whip finish real fast. Give it one or two. That's it, the woolly bugger.